Hello and welcome to this video where I want to give you a bit of a demo around how I'm using Timing 2 to track my time and talk a little bit about why I'm using it and why I think you should be using it to track your time as well. So first of all, let's quickly discuss why track your time in the first place. Uh, I can think of a few reasons. Um, Firstly, I think when you know more about when your most productive hours and days of the week are, you can plan your time accordingly so that you can assign the higher energy, um, high impact tasks or more difficult tasks to those times when you know that you're actually more productive. And if you know which websites or which apps are distracting you as well and actually preventing productivity, I think you can do a better job of avoiding those things and staying on task. Uh, for freelancers and consult consultants, I think it's a great way of uh, you know keeping track of time spent on specific client work, which may be useful for billing purposes and generating invoices. And as well, I think just tracking your time and knowing where your time is spent can be really motivational as well. When you look at things like your productivity score uh, and trying to beat that every single day, it can help you to be productive and get more done. So, and overall, I think just the more we know about how we spend our time, the better decisions we can make, the better planning we can do. And so, yeah, I think there's a number of reasons why you should be tracking your time. In saying that, we want to make sure that time tracking is seamless and easy and automated so we don't have to spend loads of time managing our system and we can spend more time doing the work which is exactly why i love timing too so let's have a look at timing two so uh, i've decided to use timing two i was using rescue time for a long period of time and rescue time is an app that sits in the background and tracks which apps and websites that you use but to be honest i found that i wasn't really using the information that often maybe only check up on the information every couple of months and um, it didn't do an overly great job of categorizing how i spent my time uh, timing two on the other hand uh, the first thing you will notice which i hope you agree with it's beautifully designed it's really appealing and just pleasant on the eyes and so i find that i like looking at the information a lot more which means i'm using the information a lot more i also think it does a really good job of categorizing how different apps and websites or, or categorizing where those things should be um, assigned to for projects and things. And it gives you uh, some extra features that uh, other tra time tracking tools I, that I've seen anyway don't, don't use. So yeah, I think Timing 2 is a great, great um, option for tracking your time. So first, let me give you a bit of a rundown of, of what we're looking at here. So here we are, we're on the overview screen. This is kind of the summary of how you've spent your time. So we're looking at today. I've spent four and a half hours on my computer so far. My productivity score has been about 55%. Uh, so maybe a little bit of work to do there. If I actually flick over and look at this week, I can actually see, or maybe let's, let's actually look at this quarter. I can see uh, some information here about my most active weekdays. So I can see Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I'm typically more active than Thursday, Friday. Haha, <laughs> no surprises there. And most um, uh, most active, um, sorry, uh, most active um, hours during the day. Sorry, I'm looking over here now. Um, so when am I doing more of my work? And we can see time spent on different projects as well. So I can see uh, this is my a product and program I'm working on right now that's been taking up a lot of time, client outreach, web browsing, client work. You can kind of see what projects, what types of work typically take up more time, you know, email taking up a, a reasonable chunk there. So you can get a very clear, quick sense of how your time is being spent. And if you want to drill down into this, you can see which apps are used most. So actually, I use Safari the most. Uh, other apps like Evernote and email, big chunks as well. But generally, it looks like Safari is the biggest one there. So this screen is uh, really great for just seeing a snapshot of how you're spending your time, learning about your most productive times of the day, and so on. On the review screen, now if I flick back to uh, today, this is where you actually get to see how your time is being spent today. And um, actually, you can do some pretty cool things on this page as well. So up the top, this is the timeline. And this is where you can get details of what website, what app, what file you were using. So here we go. I can see that um, a few moments ago, I was working in Evernote. And uh, this has been assigned to the client outreach project. And then down the bottom of this row here, this is where you can actually assign tasks. So let me show you an example of that. So um, earlier I was working on a, a task I called Design the Ultimate Routine. It's, I'm, I'm planning a new routine right now. I'm going to be writing a blog post about it soon. But anyway, um, this is where I was um, doing a bit of planning. And I was using a number of apps like Evernote. I was using, as we can see here, Safari. I was using my calendar. So there's a number of apps I was using. Now, typically Evernote, Safari, calendar. So Evernote might be categorized into like a project over here, like uh, tools. I have a tools project. And um, Safari maybe just be classified as web browsing over here. And 
um, what was the last one? Uh, the calendar might be just um, might be like tools or admin. I, I can't remember how that's programmed to to be um, assigned. But then really this work here, it's all related to one task, which is I'm designing this routine. Even though I'm flicking between all of these apps and services and websites, I'm jumping all over the place. Really, it's just one task, which is um, planning my ultimate routine. So I actually created a task and called it design the ultimate routine, and then I assigned it to my planning project. So even though I was jumping around between all these different services, it's actually all categorized and assigned to the planning project. And you can see here, timing's actually suggesting other um, tasks that I can create. It's actually said, okay, it looks like you were um, doing something over here. And so, uh, you know, doing something uh, like you were working on a task over here. So it's actually suggested that. And if I actually think back to today, I can actually see this started about 10 past 11. I actually know that that was a call with a client. And I was, even though I was in Asana, you can see it says I was working on Asana. This was actually a client call. So I might create an activity now and just call it call Laura there we go, and Peter. And now I'm gonna assign it to my client work project. And yeah, I'm gonna add that. So now, even though I was working in Asana, which is typically um, put in the tools project, now all of this time here is tracked under my client work project. And so you can see for today, how my time has been spent on different projects. We can see web browsing about 45 minutes, communication 10 minutes down here, consulting, um, client outreach about an hour, client work about 40 minutes, planning 50 minutes. And so you can see at a glance how, uh, how I can see how my time is being spent on these different projects. Uh, looking at the projects, I generally have two kind of parent areas. I have personal projects and I have Muse, which is actually, that's a four hour work week term, which is basically just my business. So uh, yeah, you can see these are kind of personal things, you know, media consumption, communication, personal finance, and then I've got business related things, you know, uh, products that I'm working on, tools, consulting, admin, and so on. So there we are, that's a bit of a look at the review screen. I suppose it's worth pointing out um, this section down here, what this what this is actually showing us is um, how my time has been spent across different keywords. So timing looks at the keywords or, or words from different files, applications, and websites. Uh, it's also showing me the time spent in different on different websites, so Asana, Google Hangouts, Pipedrive. It's showing me time spent on different folders and files, so for example, uh, Evernote files, uh, Finder documents and things, email and so on. And then finally, time spent in different applications. And the reason this is important is then I can then uh, drag um, one of these websites or a folder or an application to a project. So let's say, uh, I mean, timing is probably, it's, it's auto categorizing and putting these automatically into projects. But let's have a look at some of the unassigned things. Um, reminders, for example, let's just say I want to assign this reminder block of time. So I've spent six minutes in my reminders so far. Maybe I want to put this in, let's put it in tools. So I could drag that there. And now it's not assigned, oh, it's been assigned to tools. And trip mode, that could just be, um, let's just put it in, let's put that in tools as well for now. So there we go. Um, so that's how I can, you can just click and drag to assign uh, uh, applications and websites and, and categorize them into projects so that the time spent in those websites and applications is tracked in, in, in the, the right project, whether it's business or personal. On the details tab here, this is where you can drill down into a bit more of the information. So in uh, this client outreach time, I can see um, the specific files that I've been working on or websites that I've visited for that for that project. So it's really just allowing me to drill down and see, you know, for each project, where was that time spent? You know, for planning, it was spent in um, Safari, Evernote calendar, and so on. So it's just a bit more detail than you currently get to see on the review page. And then the reports page, this is where you can actually generate reports using the options here, whether that be for client billing purposes or whether for your own personal use, if you want to export the data and, and play around with it in something like Excel. Um, I haven't actually spent too much time with the reports yet. I, I find the overview tab and the review tab, uh, the information that's shown to me there is is more than more than enough to show me um, about how I'm spending my time and what I need to do. But this this page is, is particularly useful for uh, freelancers or consultants who maybe bill by the hour and need to generate invoices for how their time is spent on client work. So there you are. That's a bit of an overview of um, 
timing too. I, like I said, it's really beautifully designed. I, I love uh, just the information that's presented to me. And in particular, I love this feature here where you can create these tasks because unlike other task management, uh, sorry, time uh, tracking applications, which, you know, typically they work by saying, oh, Evernote, that is a, um, uh, that's like a utility application and that's it can only ever be assigned to utilities I love being able to generate a task here and say you know what even though I was jumping around between all these tools they should the time here should all be assigned to my planning project so I love that feature and you can create tasks manually in here as well um, so I could select a, t uh, a block of time and manually enter a task you can see there's even a suggestion here to add a task so if I've got like an, a, a non computer task like a meeting that I'm attending or something like that I can um, I can manually enter tasks in here as well. So that's a really nice feature that I also like using. Yeah, there we are. There is a look at Timing 2. For Mac users who are interested in tracking their time, I highly recommend you give it a go. You can use uh, and take advantage of the Timing 2 uh, free trial to test it out. I definitely recommend taking advantage of the trial at the very least. And then I've partnered with uh, Timing 2 to get a 20% offer discount on the application. So after that trial, uh, if you are ready to purchase the one of the paid packages, you can use uh, the link um, in my blog post or below this video to get 20% off uh, when you sign up. So definitely take advantage of that. I'm actually using the um, the middle plan. I can't remember the name of it, um, but the one that allows you to um, create these tasks. So I'm on the, I think it's the like business or professional plan. Uh, so it's the middle, the middle plan there that gives you the ability to create these tasks, which is probably my favorite feature. There we are. That is a look at timing too. Thanks a lot for watching this video.